Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to make an exfoliator. An exfoliator is that's going to lighten, brighten and get rid of dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. If you have rough skin, if you have dry skin, if you have wrinkled skin and you're looking to smooth the skin, you're looking to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines while hydrating the skin, you're looking for a fresher looking skin with a natural glow, then this video is for you. You. I'm going to use some natural ingredients and I'm going to make this exfoliator. This exfoliator can also be doubled as a facial mask, but it is a very quick and an easy exfoliator and it is good for most skin type. I'm using just natural pure ingredient in this that is going to help to transform your skin. So what are you waiting for guys? Let's get in the kitchen. Let's start whipping this up so you can start to get your skin on your journey for for bright clear naturally glowing glass like skin and also this exfoliator is great for the neck and the decollete so let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up to make the facial scrub i'm going to be using some rice and rice contains skin tightening properties. It also contains exfoliating properties, help to sludge off the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin, help to clean the blackheads and whiteheads out of the pores. It also helps to get rid of grease on the skin. Therefore, it is great for oily skin. Rice also will help to boost collagen production in the skin when you use it to make a facial moisturizer or a facial serum. So I'm going to be using about a quarter cup of rice and what I'm going to do with this rice I'm going to blend it to a powder so pour a quarter cup of rice in the blender and blend if you have purple rice or some black rice you can use it in this recipe use the rice you have except wild rice now after the rice is blended, we are going to add a second ingredient. I choose to blend the rice before the second ingredient because the rice is a bit harder. Now take a look, here we have some flax seeds, also known as linseed depending on where you live. These are rich in protein. These are amazing for reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and boots in collagen production in the skin. I like to use these to make serums, moisturizer, and I also like to use them for their exfoliating properties so I'm going to use about a tablespoon of the flax seeds and I'm going to add this to the blender along with the blended rice and we're going to go ahead and we're going to blend a second time so we're blending flax seeds and rice together now blend and blend away we want it to be more of a powder like consistency now after blending take a look here it is our blended flax seed and rice you can choose to store this in a zip locker bag in your refrigerator and use it up within about six months or so now once this is done we are going to reach for some liquid now this is where it gets really really easy because you're going to use liquid of choice you can choose to use soy milk almond milk you can choose to use fruit juice such as orange juice or grapefruit juice or you can use regular milk you can even choose to use some yogurt in place of the milk today i choose to use a soy milk and i'm going to be using about three tablespoons of the soy milk i'm pouring this in the blender along with the rice and the flax seeds and next i'm going to add some more hydrating properties to this here i have some rose water we're using the rose water for its hydrating properties it have to balance the natural ph levels of the skin smooth the skin and it makes a perfect addition to this facial mask slash facial scrub so i'm going to use about a tablespoon spoon of the rose water we're pouring this in the blender and now take a look at what I have here here I have some honey honey will help to hydrate and soften the skin it also have antibacterial properties which makes it ideal for acne prone skin when you mix the honey with the flaxseed and the rice it's going to create a powerful facial scrub that will not leave your skin dry it's going to leave your skin just soft supple clean 
and hydrate it. I'm going to use one teaspoon of the honey and I'm going to pour this in the blender. And now I'm going to cover and I'm going to blend to a creamy consistency. You do not want it to be too watery, nor do you want it to be too dry. So go ahead and blend. Now after blending, take a look. Let me reach for a small bowl and pour this in. Now that I'm pouring, take a look how watery this is. Not to worry. The rice contains absorbing properties. So once you set it aside for about an hour, it's going to get really, really thick. If it gets way too thick, you can add a little bit more rose water to it. And now it is ready to use on the skin. You're going to use this to exfoliate your skin. You're going to exfoliate your face, your neck, and your decollete. You're going to exfoliate for about three minutes or so. Focus on the areas where you tend to have blackheads and whitehead or textured skin. Go ahead and scrub your neck with this. And then you're going to rinse off preferably with some cold water. You can also choose to leave this on your skin for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you rinse off. Pat dry the skin and apply your favorite skincare products. I suggest that if you want the optimum result from this mask slash scrub, you can choose to steam your face before. Steam your face and then exfoliate your face and then leave it on as a mask. This is going to help transform your skin. It's an amazing facial scrub for most skin type. Use it at least two to three times per week and you're on your way to beautiful, gorgeous looking skin.